What's up, everybody? Welcome to Southwest Florida. We are on Old 41 in Bonita Springs. We just came back from Naples. Uh, about 10 minutes ago, we drove out of Naples, and now we're heading towards Lehigh Acres. So if you work in Naples and you are moving to Lehigh Acres or Camp Coral, I want you to just take a little taste of this. And this is not the winter. This is the summer where it's a little bit easier. It's 4 o'clock Alabama time, which means it's... Um, five o'clock here in, in Southwest Florida. It's, it's five o'clock in Bonita Springs. We're now on Bonita Beach Road, heading towards the east. And this is what your commute could look like. Uh, actually, for most people, it starts in Naples. So I'm already saving you 25, 20 minutes, depending on where you're coming from. Um, so we're 20 minutes into our commute already. This is not the start of our commute. Just so you guys can have an idea of what it's like to commute in Southwest Florida. This is in the summer. This is not the winter when there's tourists and stuff. This is this is the good part of the year. Um, although this is cars from Connecticut. I guess a lot more full-time people are not here. So, so you guys can get an idea, we're on Bonilla Beach Road. We were on Old 41. So we were coming out of North Naples. We got an Old 41 from US 41. We got an Old 41 headed north. Now we're heading east on Bonita Beach Road. And um, from here, we're going to go north on Interstate 75 towards lehigh acres to see what it's like to commute um and this video again not very enjoyable <clears throat> this is definitely not a fun video it's just a video so that if you're thinking about moving to nape you know to lehigh or fort myers and you're going to commute in naples you can have an idea we got a little bit of rain nobody likes to drive in the rain that just adds a layer of Southwest Florida. Usually by four o'clock it's raining, so it's also a very realistic setting here. In case you're moving down here and you wonder what's my commute gonna look like when I'm buying a house in Lehigh Acres and I got a job in Bonita Springs or Naples. Naples is still 20, 30 minutes back, and if you're I don't know, I don't want to take to drive from here. Here in Naples could be 20 more minutes easy, depending on where you're at. I believe how many people we've ran into randomly today. Like, forget about, hey, we're in town. It's just like, hey, what's up? You're at the store, too. Yeah. <laughs> or, hey, you're in traffic just like us. Yeah. It is scary how many people we're related to out here. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice, but at the same time, it's kind of a hassle. It's a hassle, to be honest. <laughs> These people are a hassle to me. Hassle to me, hassle to me. These people are a hassle to me. Hassle to me. Oh, that billboard caught me off guard. I just saw like a blind yellow come at me. I was cracking up. There was a FedEx truck today parked in front of a business. And it was blasting like the most unprofessional sounding music. Is that a hotel with the build out there? What is that yeah, new building? Yeah, Cool, so there's a new hotel in Medina. Yeah. Call and find out what it costs to stay there. Out of They're not open. They're not open yet? They still have the fence. Oh, they still. So now we have a new hotel in Medina when we come up here. Yeah. Not like we need it anymore, but we have places we can stay. Oh, also, um, the person we just visited told me that we have a house in the Naples Park in San Diego. Apparently a very nice house. Well, I'm not going to take them up on it. Yeah. Look at the traffic heading north. The right thing to do is... To, oh, they're waiting in single file line. Now, I'm sorry I'm not in single file line because I didn't know I... That's a lot of people. They're waiting in single file line. They've become civilized. Wow, huh? Wow. Just this white van and me, of course. But I wasn't aware what we were doing, guys. I'm, I'm a newbie here. <laughs> believe they're actually in single file line. Like they've got yeah. some dignity to them. Finally they learn how to be decent. Like for real bro. Well yeah we just bypassed like three lights by doing this. Not really the right way to do it but let's see if they'll let us through. Probably not. Is this car gonna let us through? Nope. He's fighting it. No. Nope. You see that squat means you see that Alabama play it means I don't really care. So we just passed. He's right on us now. He's trying to be a jerk. He's going to rear-end me. By the way, we've already got rear-ended. I told Katie um, when we left uh, Alabama, I have this giant trailer hitch 
That's like a giant like metal ball. See that one's being a jerk. Yeah. Most of them know where they're going. We kind of like fell asleep here. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Some of them are being decent. Like, most, like before, they would all be rushing. They, you know what I mean? Like, they'd be using the third lane to even. Some of them aren't in too much of a rush. Mm -hmm. But anyways. Decent. So, yeah, I mean, I just bypassed three lights by doing this. Mm -hmm. um, but if you're a decent person, you'd wait. I kind of guess I wasn't decent by not knowing. Mm -hmm. I'm really paying attention. Yeah. But if you're a daily commuter, you know what the deal is. Mm -hmm. Most of these people are daily commuters. They don't want to do this. See, look at that. That's rude. That's our first rude person today. We don't need to hot the horn. We're all going to the same place. There's no need for that. Yeah. Absolutely no need for that. That's Southwest Florida people for you. And that's why I'm glad I live in Alabama. Yeah. Because the people are just so decent over there. Like, I could really see me losing my temper here with these people. Yeah. It was a daily aggravation thing. Why are people so angry? They were rushed. It's the rush. Is Lehigh that important? <laughs> you you gonna be late to Lehigh? Oh, crap. No, what? what? I don't want to listen to Gucci Mane right now, Siri. You gotta love YouTube. I randomly decided I wanted to listen to Gucci Man. <laughs> I was just looking at the town and radar here, and all of a sudden, Boozy wants to box Suckenberg. For his eyes, he was taken. Instagram was taken down again. Yeah. Boozy wants to fight <laughs> Suckenberg. <laughs> That's hilarious. I need to see Boozy. Man, come on, mate. Man, you got dumb hands, partner. Here. <laughs> That's hilarious because he wants to fight the guy. That's hilarious. I'm not sure what this person's doing. What is she doing? There's no. Hey, hey, what is she doing? Why? There's two turning lanes. What are you doing? She's already crashed once. Did she already hit somebody? Yeah, she's got a crash in the front already. Que hassle. Why? There's absolutely no need for that. She was right there. There's two turning lanes. Either way. There's no need for that. They're like, we're both going to the same place. Yeah. What is she trying to do? That's Southwest Florida for you, man. There's absolutely no traffic. Why is this woman doing this? There's no need for that. There's two lanes. And, and actually, that lane on the outside usually moves faster than this one for some reason. Yeah. What was the point of doing that? See, if she had stayed in her lane, she'd actually be further ahead. Look. Yeah. What was the point of doing that? These people are ridiculous, I tell you. I'm so glad we got out of this crappy place. Mm -hmm. Every single day dealing with people like that, they just have to, for some reason, like, oh, they brain fart, and then they have to do something completely retarded. I'm so glad we got out of this place. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Yeah. Now we gotta get on 75, it's dangerous. People talk about, Alabama has high crime rate, it's dangerous. You think driving on this packed road with these mad people isn't dangerous? Mm -hmm. I would rather drive through Birmingham, <laughs> wondering if I'm going to get shot at, than here wondering if one of these dumb people is going to kill me or not. What's, I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, Anywhere you live is going to have a every, risk. Everybody, everywhere has different dangers. Nowhere is safe. Look at this. Oh my goodness. We should do a live stream on the other phone. Mm. Oh my goodness. Mira esto, Dios mío. Could you imagine doing this? And today is it's the summer. Could you imagine doing this every day, Katie? No. This is what people pay half a million dollars for. To be stuck in this. And to deal with people who, like the person in front of us right now. People pay for that. Unbelievable. This guy's got his gas tank open. Could you imagine from here to Lehigh like this? Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. I think I'm going to drive back. I'm going 41 or something. I can drive to that grass right there. No. Huh? 
Jose. I want the real sandwich. The what? The real Cuban sandwich? Yeah. We're going to go to Myers and have dinner. They're open till. Might as well. So what time they're open till? Unbelievable. We should live streams. Could you imagine doing this every single day? We should live stream. What do you think? Live stream around. That's not an obscene live stream. That's the other thing. Whoa. This is in the summer. Now imagine in the winter when the snow burns. No. This is a nightmare. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Ah! I knew it was gonna happen. It's okay. Don't break this one. I'll buy you another one. I'll buy you another one. If I break it, I'll break it. I'll buy you another one. I got a lot of money. I'm a famous YouTuber. <laughs> oh man. I knew that was gonna happen, by the way. It's just new. Because you know what? I got on this little lip here. I gotta get it like. And by the way, you scream like a little girl. Oh, I'm to the room. You scream like a little girl in that thing. You're like, ah! Yeah, that wasn't me. Bro, can you imagine? In 200 feet, merge onto I-75 North. I, I wasn't wrong about bringing that big trailer hitch. I have this, like, giant trailer hitch. It's like a metal ball. I don't know what it's, what type of hitch it's called. Is there a name for that hitch? Continue on I-75 North. It's like a military miles. type hitch. It's a clamping hitch. So it's called? No, that's what I call it. It's a clamp. What time will we arrive? What did it say? I didn't hear that. What time will we arrive? 551. 551. I gotta go into a Cuban place in Lehigh. No, no, babe. I'm not gonna go into Lehigh. Go to Fort Myers. The one we like. The one in the hood. It's not oh open. Oh my gosh. That's why I'll take you somewhere else. Continue on I-75 North for 19 miles. Oh no, wait, wait, hold on. But on the this car is wrong. Despite slower than usual yeah. traffic, you will arrive at 5.51 p.m. Oh, that's not bad. Which, which one are you going to? Do we go on to something called Havana? We're not going to a Noah, Havana, and Lehigh. I don't want to go to Lehigh. Partia gente more down with. The one in the hood for March. They close. I've told you ten times. Why are they close? Because they close at five. So the one you're taking me, where is it at? On Lee Boulevard. What are they rated? 4.7. What's it called? Havana Bakery and Cafe. I don't want to go in the Lehigh. We're literally going in the Lehigh. Hey, you complain about me not being Cuban, and I want Cuban, and you're, you're mad at it. You're not Cuban enough, but yeah, you yeah, right. A real Cuban woman would have made it for me. Could you imagine this every day? Your sister would not mind me cooking in her house. Can you imagine? And this is in Bonita. We mm -hmm. just bypassed like all the Naples traffic, right? Like we already, we were already ahead of Naples traffic. Yeah. We got in on Bonita Beach Road. Okay, glass samples. Hold on, this really, What's up with our park assist not working? Did, did they, when that car hit us, did it break it? I think that car that crashed into us broke our park assist. No, sir. It's off. Cause you turned it off. Now it's off. It's off. It says park assist off. It's always been off. That car broke it, by the way. Oh, we gotta get gas. We got less than a quarter. Let's see what my range is. 95 miles will better. Remind me to get uh, gas and leave Yes. I put a range so I remember that. Anyway, we just hit 140,000 miles. How's that? Put 30. Thousand miles in less than a year. <laughs> less than six months. Well, this SUV is really getting some abuse. A, a lift kit plus forty thousand miles or something. Thirty thousand miles. Yeah. In six months and a lift kit. 
No, a year. Because we bought it in August. Did we really? Yeah. And it's uh, how long, 10 months. How long have we been in Alabama? Not, we haven't been in Alabama in a year, so we haven't had it for a year. We've had it 10 months. We bought this thing as soon as we moved to Alabama. How far into Alabama? How long into uh, being in Alabama did we buy this? Uh, like, in our actual house. I think less than a week. So our first week in our house we bought this thing? Yes. We are nuts. We go through money so fast. We are crazy. We didn't wait a week to buy the car. We just like decided, okay, we're here, let's buy a car. Yeah. Well, we, needed, we knew we knew how to do it. Good thing we bought it at that time. It'd be 20, 30% more expensive now. Because right, we got it like a few days before your dad visited. Now, I'll tell you this if you're trying to buy like a used luxury car, you're better off coming to Florida. Oh, dang it, I was supposed to look at the car he's got for sale. What? Lewis has a 4x4 Ford Explorer. You already have enough cars? You never let me buy cars we don't need. I was all in the process of buying a car off. You didn't catch that part? I have like 30 comments about that. You wouldn't make it to Alabama? That's just that. Okay, whatever. We won't buy a car. I'm not opposed to buying another car. Uh, 4 by 4 SUVs we can go off-roading? There really isn't that much to off-road in Alabama. Other than our driveway. Yeah. There's not a lot of public places to begin with. That's the one thing about Alabama, there's not a lot of public areas. There isn't here either. Yeah, there is. There's a lot of wildlife management areas and stuff you can go into here. There's a lot more public land in. Oh, find out what state has the most public land. That might be something I would be interested in.
took 20 minutes to drive from Mexico. Is this legal? No, this is a. Uh, dang it, I forgot the name. Of, that's illegal, right? No, that's not illegal. No. That's Corsair. Yeah. It took 20 minutes to drive from 041 of the Navy Shore to Corsair. I've always wanted the town to drive. David installed those signs for the Hertz. Yeah. Oh, look at that giant hockey player. That's a neat little statue. Yeah. Mark Anthony is coming November 5th. Is he um, a pop singer? I don't know. He looks like a pop singer. Six million. 
Bullshit, what do you think? I told you. How much? Half a billion. You've lost your mind. Ludicrous? Yes. No. Not a chance in the world. Okay, he hasn't even signed that many people. You're way off, man. You sure you want to reconsider that? 28 million. Yeah, not even my estimate was off. Yeah, not a chance in the world. I'll throw a tough one at you. Boozy. Two million. Oh, come on, don't be offensive. He's wasted he's, a lot of money. He's a newer artist. He's got like 12 kids. Boozy's a newer artist? Boozy. I thought he was like 10 years back. Alright, so what do you think he's at? Zero, sir. He's worth more than that, by the way. He's just, he's not been very bright. He's like bailing on his homies. Is that that boozy? Zoom, there's a the zoom, zoom. No, there's like a. Boozy bad, yes. Yeah, okay. That's the one we're looking He knew about Zoom way before Corona. 800,000? Oh my gosh, not even a million? Yeah. Dang. That's not accurate. Because he had a property that he may not be worth all that much. Who knows? But another one estimates him at about two million. Yeah. Yeah, he really hasn't done a lot. He's probably made more than that, but he's really gone through it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oprah. Uh Oprah Winfrey? Yeah. She's a billionaire, so... For real? Yeah. Dang. She raps good. I think... I know she's a billionaire, Didn't but... Didn't Snoop Dogg say he would, like, get her pregnant or something? There's a rapper who was like, I, I'd do that. It was Dave Chappelle. Yeah. <laughs> he is hilarious. Yeah, she is a little old to be... You don't care. Oprah money? Okay, so Oprah. I, I think... Is she really a billionaire? Let's just look it up. That's, yeah. that's a tough one. How did she make her money? Talk show magazine. That's uh, it? Books. That's it? I need my own talk show. YouTube channel. She has her own TV station. I need to be on my own TV station. Why don't we like look at whatever? She has Stedman money too, so. How about we look at what Oprah does for like how, what her whatever show looks like, and we just go and knock off Oprah. What are her shows about? Like, if you watch it, she doesn't have that show anymore. Gotcha. But one day when she had it, what were they? What were, like she interviewed like everybody. Two point seven billion. How many? Two point seven billion. Yep. Dang. Rick Ross has a song where like, who would have thought the fat girl turned into Oprah? I guess she came from nothing if he's saying that. I don't know. You know where she's from? Miami? Miami no. Gardens? Where's she from? Miami Gardens? No, she's from Pacifico, uh, Mississippi. From Mississippi? Mm -hmm. Did she, I would have guess she started from nothing, right? Mm -hmm. She's from Mississippi and she's a billionaire? Yep. I'm telling you, you can make it out of anything. If you can become a billionaire, miss, start off in Mississippi, and end up a billionaire, yeah. So are we to our exit yet? Soon. What else are we getting off on? 136. Hopefully there's better signal than we have. We haven't been able to upload a single thing in there. Oh, we uploaded one video. One video all day? That's horrible. Yeah. What was it? In Auburn, Alabama, we were able to upload like seven videos in, in seven minutes? Yeah. Yeah. I don't even like my own content anymore. I don't want your people don't follow me. They want this. They want Florida, but yeah. they don't want me. I don't know. Who the crap knows? Like, watch this before you move to Lehigh. And this is like the off season. This is like the, the easy, easy part of the year. This is as good as it'll get. It's 
not as bad as Nashville. But then again. In two miles, take exit 136 for Florida 884 toward Colonial Boulevard. I couldn't be Nashville. At least they, did they finish A2 finally? Mm -hmm. I hate this commute. You know how many times I did this? We're not getting off at 82, so. No, we're already past it. Did I ever tell you how much I like? Yes, you do. Yeah, buddy, that's some Alabama stuff right there. Mm -hmm. uh, you didn't expect to see that in Alabama not here. There are not that many caprices in South Florida. Not like there are in Alabama. Nobody's on the brakes over ahead. They're all in Alabama and Georgia. Yeah. Woo. Georgia. What? Car I like. What you like? Forerunner. Dude. Forerunner. I see one like that. Incredible considering it's not even a city. Think about it. It's we should do like the most, like, you know, how those people are like unincorporated Lee County. You know, how that guy jumped in like the aquarium with like the last person before Mars? Yeah, the famous. We should like bring a tow strap and like steal a Lehigh Acre sign and take it to Alabama, and then that could be like my call to the claim. And you'd be called off to jail. Yeah, but like, what are they going to charge you for doing that? Like, public mm -hmm. mischief, theft. Theft over $3,000? Yeah. What does that get you? Six months? I don't have a criminal record. I wouldn't be that bad. The guy that jumped in the... in, in, in the He's like Southwest Florida legend. <laughs> in Southwest Florida, how do you get famous in Southwest Florida? Well, the guy jumped into the aquarium at the Boss Pro Shop. That guy's famous. And by the way, have they, have they caught the guy? I don't think they ever did. And he looks like somebody I know, by the way. Mm -hmm. they're, like, they're asking for you to identify the person. I'm like... Ah. Have you seen it? Have they arrested the guy yet? Mm -mm. So that's like Southwest. You have to do something to get famous in Florida. Have they caught him yet? Nope. That's not. Why would he do that? He's already Continue famous. For three miles. He really is famous. Have you seen the people he hangs out with? Mm -mm. Have you seen the people he hangs out with? Like every famous artist you can think of, he hangs out with them. Look at the video. You'll know who it is. I have they caught him yet? I was right, arrested. Bat Fort Myers Bass Pro Shop. Maybe they've already arrested the person. They can say their name. Anyways, the person that you said, he, he is like, all his friends are like super famous. Like the music that I listen to, he knows all those people personally. But I kind of broke ties with that person, so. Dad <laughs> runs into him all the time. It is so weird. Like how people, like some people like go so far to get famous and other people are really famous and they don't even try and it's weird. Remember the time we had lunch with Serena Williams' mom? That was interesting. Remember that? Where Serena Williams' mom shared her sandwich with us? Yeah. And then like our friends were like, yo, you're hanging That's out with- That's not the person we know, I think. Is it arrest? Did they arrest the person already? Did they show their name? Oh, they did arrest the guy. Well, that's it. That's his call to fame. Like, this guy could walk into a bar in Fort Myers and be like, yo, I'm the guy that jumped in the aquarium. And we're like, yo, that's you? I bought you a beer, you know? 
People do stupid stuff to get famous. I think stealing the Lehigh Acres sign would be a pretty good stunt for somebody that's not afraid of getting arrested and whatever happens to you do. I'll pass. How about we make a video talking about how much we hate Naples? That's my call to flame right there. That's every video. Our first video, like, I was like, yeah, sure, let's just make a video talking garbage about Naples. The town that I lived in. Yeah. Like a year later. Almost two years later. More people have watched the video than there are people in Naples. What Let's that? make another Naples hate volume too. It doesn't matter. Yeah. We'll never be able to top that. Yeah. That was just pure random. Like, here's a thousand realtors saying Naples is amazing. I don't know where we're like, yo, this sucks. And then we put it on YouTube. And like, huh, a thousand people saw it. Huh. I didn't think a thousand people would see that one day, 10,000, 100,000, 300,000, 400,000. Oh no, we gotta move out of here now. <laughs> yeah, gotta get up out of here. <laughs> yeah, I would not do that in Montgomery. Mm -mm. <laughs> they would like stone us. They would find They're way to too proud of Alabama. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think if we ever move out of Alabama, we should be like, yo, we out and that's it. That's like as much as you can say about Alabama. Yeah, because I don't have anything horrible. I really down. don't have anything yeah. horrible to say about Alabama. It's not. It's, it's fine. It's been great. Like, it's obvious it's been great to us. Mm -hmm. Deer jumping. Why am I in a Levi Hickers commute? What the crap is wrong with my life? Like, this is how you meditate about, like, everything you've done wrong in your life. Like, how did I end up commuting the Lehigh Acres? Oh, my gosh. Like, if you do this every day, I would, I would become bitter. I would be, like, like a caged bobcat, man. I would just be like, ah. Uh. Wouldn't you? If this was your life, no wonder they're angry. Yeah. I started off the video asking myself, why are they angry? Like, now I understand why they're angry. Can I film? What's there? Dispensary. Really? Yep. So here's 82. Finally, they finished this intersection. We're not getting on 82. Thankfully. We have a car behind us. We're not safe, mm -hmm. And this is actually a, like, after they finished, it, I guess they finished it. Look, it's not as bad as it used to be. This used to be like a nightmare intersection. You could have been here for an hour, 45. I've been stuck here for an hour. No acceleration. You know, cars and stuff. The good thing they finished that, man, for the people that live here. Unbearable. How many years of Lehigh Acres do these people have to suffer? They're the line to get out of that public zone. Yeah, cool, man. I jacked up it. Why do I smell like cigarettes? Where did we go? What is our close smell like cigarettes? This one definitely smells like cigarettes. Maybe it's just that I'm sweating. I'm not used to sweating. How far is this restaurant? A minute away. Cool. Turn left on 8th Street West. Turn right or left? Right here. That's not left. Leonor? I said right there. Okay, give me the mic. Turn left on 8th Street West. Then why did you tell left. me? Why did you tell me to turn left? It's right Head here. East on Lee Boulevard. There's no way to get in. That's it? Are they open? Yeah. Why does it look like a weed dispenser? Turn right onto West Wing Road and then turn right onto 8th Street. Why does it look like a weed dispenser? I don't know. Look at the traffic continuing into Lehigh. We're just at the tip of Lehigh. It's taking 40 minutes to get from Bonita. Is that a food truck? Is it a Cuban food truck or Colombian food truck? Turn right onto 8th Street. That's right. I wonder if that Puerto Rican restaurant's open. That would be something for us to do over here. The Puerto Rican restaurants. The food truck. Mm -hmm. They got a lot of customers. Mm -hmm. So it took 40 minutes to drive from Bonita Springs to the outskirts of Lehigh. So you got 20 minutes more to your house, at least, and 20 more minutes to Naples. So it would take an hour and 20 Turn minutes. Turn right. Then your destination will be on the right. An hour and 20 minutes in the easy part of the year. Mm -hmm. Right? 
Yeah. During the easy part of the year, 10 hours, 20 minutes. So in the winter, when there's more traffic, on a bad day, you could be here for two hours. Mm -hmm. no power Your destination. Home. So this could literally be a two hour commute. That's where we go. Ablana? Yeah. Let me park over here. We should probably have our car and we hide. We should just hide behind this semi. We do not have friends here. We are in the ops territory right now. I don't know if you knew that. We are in op territory right now. Let me park it like where we can see it even. Dude, we're in like the op territory right now. We have like this is down so much. I don't care. And now we're here like eating and stuff. <laughs> we should do like a live stream. Like, yo, come on, Lehigh. <laughs> like a taunting Lehigh Eager people. Like, yo, come on, run, run up on me. <laughs> run up on me. <laughs> we should live stream. Like, yeah, we should definitely make a live stream. Mm. Like a taunt video. Like, yo, man, I ain't, I'm in your hood, dog. Come out here and get me. Live streaming. That would be dangerous. That's more da like, for us. Live streaming Lehigh is like more dangerous than like live streaming Birmingham. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. There it is. I estimate that 20 more minutes to your house and 20 more minutes to Naples will bring your grand total commute to a, a, an hour and 20 minutes from Lehigh to Naples. Now, probably two hours on a bad day. Yes. There you go. And that's four hours a day. Mm -hmm. That's insane.